In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the volume, the surface area, and the diagonal length of a rectangle. So let's try this problem. What is the volume of a rectangle that has a length, width, and height of 12 inches, 6 inches, and 5 inches respectively? So let's draw a picture. So here is a rectangular prism. And it has a length of 12 inches, a width of 6 inches, and a height of 5. So how can we find the volume of this prism? The volume of any prism is basically the area of the base multiplied by the height. The height of the prism is 5. The length is 12. And the width is 6. So we already have the height in this equation. We don't have to worry about it. But what is the area of the base? In this particular picture, this is the base of the rectangular solid based on the way it's drawn. And the area of the base, the area of that blue portion, is basically the length times the width. So we can replace B with L times W. So the volume of a rectangular prism is simply the length times the width times the height. The length is 12 inches, the width is 6 inches, and the height is 5 inches. 12 times 5 is 60. And 60 times 6, well, if 6 times 6 is 36, 60 times 6 is 360. You just have to add the extra zero. Now, what about the units? So what are the units of volume in this problem? Inches times inches times inches. That's equal to inches cubed or cubic inches. So that's the volume in this example. It's 360 cubic inches. Number two. What is the surface area of a rectangular prism with the dimensions 15 centimeters by 8 centimeters by 9 centimeters? So let's say that this is the length, this is the width, and this is the height. Well, let's begin by drawing a picture, just like we did before. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a simple rough sketch. My prism looks bigger in the back, but you can work with it. So let's say this is the length, width, and the height. How can we come up with an equation that was, that's going to help us to, to find the surface area of this rectangular prism? The surface area is basically the area of all six faces of this prism or this rectangle. So the area of the front is the same as the area of the back face or the, just the back side of the rectangle. So that's highlighted in blue. Notice that it's the width times the height. Same thing on this side. This is the width and this portion is the height. So the area of the front and the back is just W times H. And because there's two of them, it's going to be 2 uh, WH. Now there's six sides we need to cover. So far, we've covered the front and back. So just two out of six. Now the next thing is you have the area of the bottom surface and the area of the top surface. So the bottom surface is L units long and it's W units wide. Same thing for the top. So the area is L times W. But because we have the top and the bottom, we got to multiply it by 2. So it's going to be 2L times W. 
Now the last thing we need to worry about is the right side and the left side. The right side has a length of L but a height of H. So the area is LH, but we've got to multiply it by 2. So this is the formula that you need to calculate the surface area of a rectangular prism. Now let's go ahead and plug in everything that we have. So the width is 8 centimeters and the height is 9 centimeters. Now the length is 15 centimeters and the width is 8 centimeters. And then 2 times LH, that's going to be 2 times 15 times 9. So now we just got to do some math. 8 times 9, that's 72. And 2 times 72 is 144. Now 2 times 15 is 30. And what's 30 times 8? Well, 3 times 8 is 24. If you add the 0, that's going to be 240. And here we have 2 times 15 again, that's 30. 30 times 9 is 270. So now we just got to add. So what's 240 plus 270? Well, 200 plus 200 is 400. 40 plus 70 is 110, so 400 plus 110, that's going to be 510. Now, 500 plus 144, that's 644. And if you add 10 to it, that's going to be 654. So that's the surface area. And whenever you're dealing with area, the units is going to be unit squared. So it's going to be square centimeters or centimeters squared. So that is the surface area of this figure, 654 square centimeters. So now you know how to find it. Number three, what is the length of the diagonal of a rectangular prism with the dimensions 14 centimeters by 9 by 7. So once again, this is the length, the width, and the height. So let's start with a picture. So we need to find the distance between one edge of the rectangular prism to the other edge. So basically we're looking for the length of the yellow line. So how can we go ahead and find that? How can we find the length of that line? Well, before we come up, before we write the equation, let's talk about how to get it so you can understand why the equation is the way it is. So notice that you could form a right triangle. So I'm going to draw another diagonal that remains on the bottom surface. And notice the triangle that forms. This is a right angle. So I'm going to call the length of the diagonal, which we're trying to find, the yellow line. Let's call it D. We want to find the distance between these two points. And this side is the height of the prism. That's H. And the length of the red diagonal that is on the bottom surface, let's call this Z. So we have this triangle. The hypotenuse is D, which is what we're trying to find. H is the height. And Z is the red diagonal that's on the bottom face of the rectangular prism. Now for any right triangle, we have the Pythagorean theorem. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So in this case, D squared is equal to Z squared plus H squared. Now, notice that there's another diagonal that we could focus on. I'm going to highlight it in green. 
So this is Z, as we mentioned before. But notice that we could form another right triangle where the hypotenuse is right here. So this is L and this is W. So for that second triangle, which looks like this, we have a hypotenuse of Z. We have the width and the length. So therefore, using the Pythagorean theorem, Z squared is equal to L squared plus W squared. Now, if we combine these two equations, if we replace Z squared with what it's equal to, L squared plus W squared, we're going to have this equation, which is what we want. D squared is equal to L squared plus W squared plus H squared. And now let's take the square root of both sides. So here's the final equation. D is equal to the square root of L squared plus W squared plus H squared. So if you have the length, the width, and the height, you can find the diagonal length using that, um, excuse me, using that equation, which comes from the Pythagorean theorem. So now let's go ahead and, and uh, find the answer. So it was 14 by 9 by 7. So those were the dimensions of this particular rectangular prism. And this is the length, width, and the height. So let's go ahead and use this formula to calculate the length of the diagonal. So L is 14, W is 9, H is 7. 14 squared is 196, 9 squared is 81, and 7 squared is 49. So if we add those three numbers, we should get a 326, if I typed in everything correctly. And the square root of 326 as a decimal is 18.055. And the unit is going to be centimeters. So make sure you get an answer that is greater than each of these numbers individually. The length of the diagonal has to be longer than the longest side of the rectangle. It's just the way the math works. So this is the answer. So now you know how to find the volume, the surface area, and the length of the diagonal using these equations. So that's all you need to know for rectangular prisms. So thanks for watching this video and have a great day.